It's another early morning having to work from home as a result of the global threat of the coronavirus and South Africa's rising numbers. Standard hygiene first and then quick preparation. Hey, Gift, morning, how are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, so um, for the next crossing, what do you require? Okay, so the next crossing, I need you to give me steps, man. Give me number of recoveries. But it's not just me. SABC News requires content from all our journalists inside and outside the country, risking their own lives to bring you the story. That there are 26, 26 people tested positive here for the COVID-19 virus. Nobody was spared the wrath of this roadblock. As you can see behind me, this couple have just been pulled over. They told the police that they were going to fetch feed for their dogs. Water is one of the greatest service delivery challenges in some I'm also limiting contact to keep so safe but we make a plan to continue broadcasting okay so we're going to tell you how we get the backdrop of uh, the uh, backdrop of Johannesburg that you always see behind us uh, when we're doing uh, our live crossings from home so what I will do is uh, I'm going to search for a picture of Johannesburg um, that shows daylight because I'm going to do this live crossing during the course of the day so if it had been at night, I would have looked for a picture of Johannesburg at night. So this is how we do it, okay? So okay guys, in order to get uh, the best shot, we even have to jump on the furniture here. Uh, uh, don't mind my socks, see, I don't even have to wear shoes. So uh, you'll see what we're doing in the next few moments. So there you have it guys, voila, right behind me is just a picture of Johannesburg which has been frozen on the television set behind me and uh, basically I'm ready to go live in the next few moments as soon as the studio gets to call me. So guys, do me a favor, stay at home, the coronavirus is real, we know where South Africa stands in terms of its death toll and the number of infections and the only way we're going to be able to curb the number of infections and flatten that curve is if we stay at home. I'm working from home, you stay at home. And I love Griselda's socks.